I was 12 years old when I first learned about heart disease. My father dropped out of a chair in front of all of us at the dinner table and um, he was 45 years old. And at that point I learned that my grandfather had died at 43 and my father's sister had died at 27. Uh, later in life my brother at 39 passed away. It was at that point that I said to myself I need to see a cardiologist. So I started seeing a cardiologist at 34. So my mission is all about prevention. My mother also had a, a heart attack at 55 years old. So since um, I've been 34 years old, I have been followed by a cardiologist. If I do not stay on statin medication, my cholesterol genetically will be up over 300. That's with all the diet and the exercise that I can possibly do. I think women don't talk about heart disease because we're the caregivers. We aren't supposed to be sick. We aren't supposed to have anything wrong with us. So I think they deny symptoms and signs when they see it. Again, men have very different, more profound symptoms than women do. Women are very subtle with their symptoms, and so they just tend to ignore them and go on with their day. You know, it's been my mission since I said since I was 34 years old. So yes, I, I talk to my doctor very regularly. We do um, annual checkups, we do stress testing, we do cardiac catheterizations from my family history, and, and of course, I talk about it whenever I can. It is a lifestyle change. It isn't a diet. It is truly a lifestyle change. It is recognizing your genetics and making those subtle little changes on a daily basis that will really help you lifelong. I'm a hospice nurse, so I see the effects of not doing what people should be doing. One thing would be right here where I am right now, trying to tell as many people as I can, as many women as I can, to get out there. Don't ignore the signs, the symptoms. Take care of yourself. We're the caregivers, but you gotta take care of yourself first.